안녕하십니까? <웃음> 제 이름은 루티 마이어스입니다. 왕, 왕 루티입니다. 음, 만나서 반갑고요. 아, 오늘, 오늘 이 자리에 있게 된 것이 음, 영광입니다. Um, I want to introduce myself. I am Ruthie Miles. My family name is Wang, so I am Wang Ruthie. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> you don't even know you have it after a while. <laughs> um, it's, it's such a pleasure to be here. It is truly my honor to, uh, to be in front of you. And I want to introduce my friend, Martin Landry. He is a wonderful performer and pianist. And he will be accompanying me today. Um, this first song that I would like to sing for you needs no introduction to a Korean speaker or to the Korean country, uh, but to a foreigner, uh, just a little bit of word is that Arirang technically doesn't have a translation. It doesn't mean anything, but the sentiment of Arirang is, is such a deep root for Koreans that, as a matter of fact, many people would like one day when the unification of Korea happens that this would be considered as a national anthem. Please enjoy Shin Arirang, the new Arirang.
Thank you. This next song I would like to do for you um, was from, thank you for this beautiful introduction, <laughs> uh, is from The King and I, which played here at Lincoln Center in 2015. And thank you. This song is, uh, is very special because it not only has the song been sung for 60 years before, but what's different about the revival of The King and I is that our director gave a woman who usually speaks nothing in the show. The, sh the, the character that I played, Lady Tiang, uh, she does not speak in the show very much, very often, very little if she does. However, in this song, he wanted to prove that the king is not the king because he is so powerful, but that the king is powerful because he has strong women underneath him. And so he gave me a voice and he turned these lyrics in a different way that made it so meaningful and, and, and a spiritual experience for me. I would like to sing it for you tonight. This is a man who thinks with his heart. His heart is not always wise. This is a man who stumbles and falls, but this is a man who tries. This is a man you'll forgive and forgive and help and protect as long as you I find it to be a very powerful song. I hope you also enjoyed it. Uh, this next song, I thought, you know, oh, I don't want to do like opera all night, and I don't want to do jazz, because everybody does jazz. So what's a funny, like lighthearted song? And then I got an idea. There's a boy who works at Starbucks who is very inspirational. He is very inspirational because of many things. 
comes. I come in at 8.11 and he smiles and says, how are you? When he smiles and says, how are you? Oh, I could swear my heart grows wings. So today at 8.11, I decided I should meet him. I decided I should meet him in a proper, formal way. So today at 8.11, when he smiled and said, how are ya? I said, fine, and my name's Ruthie. And he softly answered, hey. And I said, my name is Ruthie, and thank you for the extra foam. And he said his name was Taylor, which provides the inspiration for this poem. Java, bring me joy. Oh, Taylor, the latte boy. I love him, I love him, I love him. And I'd like to get my nerve up to recite my poem musical. He would like the fact it's musical because he plays guitar. So today at 8-11, Taylor told me he was playing in a band down in the village in the basement of a bar. And he smoothly flipped the lever to prepare my double latte. But for me, he made it triple and he didn't think I knew. But I saw him flip the lever and for me, he made it triple, and I knew that triple latte meant that Taylor loved me too. I said, what time are you playing? And thank you for the extra skin. He said, keep the 355 because this triple latte was on him. toward her. Well, finally a voice whispered, love can be yours if you'd step up to the counter and order. Taylor, the latte boy, bring me java, bring me joy. Oh, Taylor, the latte boy, I love him. I love him. I used to think, what is it? Uh, so many years my heart has waited. Who'd have thought that love could be so caffeinated? Taylor, the latte boy. I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a fun song. <laughs> Thank you. And um this last song, because I could be here all day, this is the shortest I've ever been asked to sing, and truly, you really need to give me more time, because I talk a lot. Um, <laughs> but this last song I would like to sing for you is, uh, I think it's very important, especially in the time that we live in, and everyone's feeling uh, lonely, and everyone's feeling different, and nobody feels accepted, and everybody feels isolated, and, and it's not just because of COVID. Um, but the message I'm, I, I would really like to share with you is that you are perfect just as you are and the world needs you just as you are it's not that easy being green 
having to spend each day the colors of the leaves when it would be so much nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that. It's not that easy being green. You tend to blend in with so many other ordinary things. And people tend to pass you over because you're not standing out like a flashy sparkles on the water or stars in the sky. But green is the color of spring. And green can be cool and friendly like. And green can be big like an ocean or important like a river. It's what I want to be. I think it's what I want to be.